And you know what I love? He's having fun. I mean, baseball is supposed to be fun. This has been a tough first half of the year for Bryce personally. Tough for the team. The Nationals are not where they want to be in the standings. But he is having a blast tonight. And I think that's great for Nationals fans because a happy, a, a Bryce Harper that's having fun means that he's going to go out in the second half and do some damage, and they really need him to be great if they're going to make up ground in the NL East. Still waiting for his first year in this round. Looks like that's going to be it. And 30 seconds in, he is off the zero. And now he quickly has two on the board as that one heads to right. And comes up just shy. This one carries. That last one, he got off the end a little bit. But the way the ball's coming off his bat, it's just different. It looks like every yep. ball's going to be a home run. And we've seen some great home run hitters tonight. But tonight, when Bryce hits the ball, it just looks different off his bat. High, high fly to right. That goes second deck. There's another one that's to the deepest part of the ballpark at 402 feet. It won't get out. This is a hooking ball down the line. Good. Harper's got four. He'll win this thing if he stays on top of the ball. It's, it's the times that he pops it up where he gets in trouble. He gets into a little bit of a, of a bad rhythm popping the ball up too much. Take a look at that pace tracker, and he is well behind Kyle Schwarber right now. And he calls timeout with 238. Not the start that Harper wanted. Schwarber might be your derby champion. The crowd desperately wants to see Harper explode here. We got some drama. 238 to go. He is 14 home runs shy. He hasn't yet hit one 440 feet. And I got a feeling he will. And the crowd again, we, th this crowd is so loud, so it, everyone is on their feet too. No one's sitting down in this ballpark right now. Well, you saw him hit seven in about a minute in his last round. He's got to get on one of those rolls and he's got to do it quickly. His dad continues to throw that one a little inside. Another one he pulls inside. And, and, exactly. I think I think his dad looks like he's getting maybe a little bit tired. The fans are getting on him. They're not getting on Bryce. There goes a couple. That one might be his first that goes 440 this round. There goes another one, and here's that run. And those are both over 440. He's going to get his extra 30 seconds, which he'll need. His longest home run is 473, which he just hit. And this one is going to be off the pole. He did. He got the pole. He's got nine. He's halfway there. And he has an extra 30 seconds to play with at the end of it. That's a swing you don't mind in a game, but you don't want to know a run derby. Nope. He still has another timeout he can use. He is just below the pace set by Schwarber. This is a shot. That doesn't clear the wall. That one should, and he calls timeout as he watches it. No! Just off the top of the wall, and he sits there with nine home runs and a minute 20 left on the clock. Max Scherzer, the first out. And Bryce might be getting a little tired. His pops might be getting a little tired. There's a lot of adrenaline running through. He's got to dig deep right now. Kyle Schwarber sitting over there. He hit 18, and we thought he was going to need 20. Now we're talking about Bryce Harper needing to get 18. He's earned the 30. I think that's what he's asking about. When you think about the flair for the dramatic, and he's going to need it tonight with his crowd. He's got five career walk-off homers, two of them last season. A win here would be a walk-off in a home run derby. And the crowd is behind him. I think this is how you want to script it if you're a Nationals fan here. You've been watching this kid play since 2012. He's only 25 years old, but never played in a World Series. This might be the most the fans have been behind him at a Nationals game in his entire career. Minute 10. And three pitches that he can't swing at. And if he doesn't get to 18 or, or, or go over 18, people are going to be all over his pop, which is unfair. It's tough to throw strikes consistently out here. I don't care who you are. There goes another. So Harper now double digits. 45 to go with 30 extra seconds. Pitch inside. His dad has pulled a few. It seems like if he gets a ball near the zone, 
It's a home run, so you just got to get him close. Yep, he's in another groove here with 12 and 13. Here goes 14. Here comes Bryce Harper. Oh, my goodness. This is getting fun. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be over soon. Oh, oh wow. he hammers another one. Oh, my goodness. That one's popped up. Remember, there are still 30 seconds of bonus time. That one could pull him within one. Clock stops. Wow. He's got 30 seconds. Yes. That was a huge round for Harper after the timeout. One home run to become the home run derby champion in 18. Uh, that's high, but that's not going to do it. There it is! Center field, and Bryce Harper has thrown his bat in the air and won the 2018 T-Mobile Home Run Derby, and he loves it.